Um, it's another day. Uh, as you can see, probably from my background, we still have all the Halloween decorations up almost a week after Halloween. So part of my day is going to be getting rid of the decorations. Another part of my day, uh, which is a kind of sad part, at least it's sad for Carla. Um, so if you don't know, Carla got a new car recently. Um, when I mean recently, I mean like maybe July. Her other car just kind of could put on her. So she got a new car, but the car that she had before, um, I think she called it Ruby. Um, Ruby, she's been with Carla since, oh, at least almost 11 years, if not 11 years. So Carla's kind of taking it pretty hard. And the reason she's taking it pretty hard right now is because um, Ruby's getting ready to go bye-bye. Um, somebody is taking Ruby, so she's really upset that Ruby has to leave. So um, she's actually at work right now, so they're actually coming while she's at work. So she said her goodbyes last night, but I'm getting ready to not only take down these decorations, but I'm also getting ready to go clean out Ruby um, of all the junk and stuff and stuff that Carla wants to keep. Um, so yeah, man, it's really sad, but you know, I, she, like I said, she got a new car. She got a, a newer car. It's like a 2018. So um, it works perfectly. Great gas mileage. And it won't could put on her anytime soon. So, but like, it is sad to go. It's sad to go, man. But all right, man. Y'all gonna be with me. So I just finished the bets. It's all cleared out. Um, all the Halloween decorations are gone. So now let's go tackle this car. Hey y'all, I just wanna show you the car before I clean her out. Um, show y'all essentially what it looked like. And so this is my wife's baby. She a red Kia Forte 2010. And we're getting ready to say goodbye. It's a sad, sad day for us, man, but it's okay. On the bigger and better things. finish with that so I am done with both the car and getting rid of the decorations um, now I think I need to go ahead and film a video here pretty soon so that's probably what I'll end up doing there but other than that I'm trying to think I know there's something else I have to do today I just cannot for the life of me remember what it is but it'll come back to me this is it She's saying goodbye Sad moment right now, man. Sad moment. I called my wife pretty upset that, you know, obviously my car's leaving. So, but yeah, man. This is it.
other day. Excuse my appearance. I literally just woke up. I'm sitting on a balcony right now um, with Remy. It's raining outside, so I'm like extra tired and extra sleepy. So I'm used because of my job. I have to get up really early, like five something in the morning. So yesterday I got up at like six thirty. Was up. Today I woke up at like nine. So it's a little late for me, but see. Me. Remy like to act like I trap her outside with me and she just has to find a corner to stay warm and dry. I don't bring her out here. This door was open. She closed it. I told you she know how to open and close doors. So uh, she, she closed it by herself. I'm not gonna keep opening it. So if she gonna be out here with me, she gonna hang. We gonna sit here and watch the rain and go. Update. I gave in because she gave giving me puppy dog looks, so I opened the door. What's good, man? So we are headed to the post office because somebody ordered something, so I'm going to drop off the package. Um, and then I'm debating whether or not I want to go get the pumpkin spice syrup or if I just want to make like a, a honey latte. I um, don't know, but I think a honey latte would be really, really good, especially for this time of season as well. So I may end up making that, but as you can see, Peepaw, I got Peepaw in the window. You can't really see her, but uh, I decided to bring her along with me. I didn't want her to be at home by herself. You know, she, um, there she go. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, man, y'all just gonna be with us as always. I'm trying to figure out I'm gonna film a video today. I'm just trying to figure out what it was, like I said. Um, I was also debating whether I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and check them out. Um, they do some pretty interesting things. Um, I don't know, honestly, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm still trying to figure everything out, but so far, that's the goal. So, but all right, man, I'll catch y'all later. What's up, people? Um, so yeah, I just got off work and I'm actually getting ready to head home to change and get ready because me and my wife are going to go see the Eternals tonight. I'm super stoked. If you don't know anything about me, the number one thing you should always know is that I am a mega Marvel fan. Mega Marvel fan, man. I'm a part of the fan club. So we are going to go see that. Um, I need to go get ready. I think we're going to a four o'clock show. It's like one something now. Um, so... I'm gonna go ahead and go and get ready and then I'm gonna just take out with me. We're actually going to Disney Springs. If you've never been to Disney Springs or anything like that, it's really cool. Um, I think in a previous video, I, we went to Disney Springs just to kind of walk around. Um, I think it was when my brother-in-law was here and his wife. Um, but we are um, gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and go to the movie theater, man. What's good, people? Uh, it's the day after the movie. Um, so I wanted to tell you about the movie. The movie was absolutely fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Um, it was, I'm not gonna lie, had some points in it. I was just like, this makes no sense. Uh, but what made it a good movie to me was the fact that there were some hidden points in it um, that kind of lead into the universe. Like, I don't really know how to describe it. Like, if you if you want to basically keep up with what Marvel is going to do, I suggest watching the movie. That's what makes it good to me. The overall, overall, overall like cinematic script and all that kind of stuff was trash, but it plays a key role on what they're getting ready to do in the Marvel Universe. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, but um, what I really wanted to tell you guys was that starting this week, Carla and I are going to do our very first um, vendor event. So almost like a farmer's market, kind of not, kind of, kind of, sort of not, but essentially we're the only coffee vendor that's going to be at this event. I'm super excited to get it done. I'm super excited to do it. So definitely stay tuned. If you haven't uh, subscribed and liked the um, channel, please make sure you go and do that. Uh, we don't want to miss out on a lot of upcoming stuff that's going to be just 
fantastic over these next few months, especially as we grow the business and just grow as people. Uh, we would love to like have you guys come along with us. So definitely check it out. Otherwise, guys, I will see you next week. Peace.